All right. What's up, guys? Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to farm Zulfurac, get your wild offerings, super quests. This is probably the fastest way um, and quite a fun way, too, because you're dodging trash, running in. It's super quick, super fun, super interactive, and you're going in with a bunch of boys. Um, but this is the route you'll take here. Let me switch this off, um, but we'll follow these guys. You want to kind of dodge as many ads as you can and you kind of run in a certain pattern so we're going to run to a specific spot where we can los line of sight the ads so that they de-aggro from us so we essentially pull uh, almost the whole instance until we get to one of the bosses we killed three bosses there and then we're able to get our wild offering and it's super fast super easy and you're getting stuff at the same time there we're waiting for everybody to catch up and you want to try and stay you know kind of like max distance from the ads so that you're not getting dazed um, if you do get a mob on you you want to strafe because if they do hit you in the back you get dazed and it'll knock you off your mount so you'll keep running to this portion of the dungeon here where all the scarabs are well, there's no map so i can't show you <laughs> but where uh, Thek is at, there's this boulder you can jump on, or a piece of ruin. And that makes all the mobs kind of like bug out there. You'll wait a couple seconds for them to run back, and then you're good to pull the boss. Um, so to do this, it's really easy. Um, you can do it up to, I believe, 10 people. I don't know if you can do more than that, but this is what typically people run. Um, just so it makes it faster because you'll kill things really easily there. Um, but we're going to kill the boss now. Looks like he's going to pull him out there, but you're going to see he dies super quick. So you always want to make sure with your runs you have at least one tank and one DPS. Um, preferably whoever's in front of the group is usually a tank, maybe somebody with high dodge like a rogue, or maybe like a paladin that has the extra speed boost if they have the uh, carrot on the stick as well. It'll be going a lot faster. And be able to dodge those bombs a little bit more easily. Um, you come over here, you kill the Antu Sul guy as well. Put him down really quick. Get rid of him. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Yep, somebody's gonna need on that. Yep. <laughs> I wish I was on my paladin right now, but that's all right. That's all right. All right. So we're going to continue on to the rest of the dungeon here um, for this next part. It's actually pretty easy. Um, but you head down the hall here. We'll kill the next boss. We pretty much pull everything you can. Maybe if you're like just doing a five people, you can jump up over here onto this ledge to be able to LOS all the mobs. Um, but there's only like three of them in here anyways, so it it doesn't get too crazy Kill the boss really quick put him out of his misery take out his henchmen And just like that All right, we're gonna jump on our mount again And we're gonna head out So it does get a little bit more difficult here at the end. Looks like we're going to pull one blood drinker here. Usually we're able to miss most of the mobs in this area. Um, but very important, you want to jump up on this side. And then you're going to jump up onto the side of the wall. You go around here and around here. I'm not sure what the blood drinker is going to do. Pull all those extra mobs over there or not. But we'll find out. You want to kill, there's at least one or two mobs in this hallway that you have to take care of. Nothing too crazy. And then we come to this last room. You got to be careful in this last room because it can get pretty dicey because you have one pat over here. And I believe there's another one somewhere else. Um, and then the boss also wanders around there too. She's over there. Well, it looks like we got a couple stragglers that are coming in from the back. But uh, nothing our group can't handle. And this is just a group of a bunch of random people that I found in the looking for group chat. 
and it makes it super easy. Um, but yeah. Once we've got all those killed, you can look around for the uh, Wild Offerings boss. He's usually right here in this area, right here. Um, it looks like ours is missing. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. So we'll just have to kill a couple more mobs, which is fine. Uh, because these runs are so fast, you're usually going to get um, locked out anyways. Um, because you can only do so many runs per hour. He's probably the tankiest boss in the whole dungeon. Yeah, makes it pretty easy. We'll show you how to get out of the dungeon. But after that, it's just rinse and repeat. Make sure you get your wild offering, mount up. Then we're going to run up to this ledge here. You can jump on. You can go over there like they did. Um, but this is... This seems to be the most optimal route to uh, avoid most of the mobs. Jump down here. And then, well, this is looking pretty dicey. I'm a rogue, so I'm not too worried. I can just vanish. Um, we'll go up the mountainside here, jump over, jump over here. And then go around and kind of manipulate the terrain with your jumping there. Those guys fall down, they end up pulling a bunch of mobs. But uh, that'll be fun. But yeah, we just run just run to the uh eggs of the dungeon here. Hope that you don't get your <laughs> hope that you don't get beat down. That guy's in trouble. <laughs> Nothing I can do, man. I ain't got no AoE, I'm a rogue. Oh shoot, I got a shadow boat coming my way. Oh, I resisted it. <laughs> Got him. That guy died. That's that's alright. Sometimes you might die. You know, just uh just run back. It's not too it's not too bad, not too crazy. And then just come out, wait for the rest of your team to come out, reset the dungeon, rinse and repeat. Super easy. That was probably less than seven minutes there. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know. I don't know. It's a goodbye, just a goodbye. Forever and ever, you never come back. Just a goodbye, forever goodbye. I said it. Nobody come back in and res. What I put.